May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, dear friends. Today we will meditate Joshua chapter 24, verses 15. It says, And if it is evil in your eyes to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your father served in the region beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You know what happened? Here Joshua tells the Israelites, you have to take a, a position and you have to take a decision whom you are going to serve hereafter. Either the God before the, you know, the other side of the river or the God who brought you from Egypt. That is depend on you. Last few days we were discussing about the importance of surrendering our life to God. We surrender and we understood the blockage for the surrender. And once if we surrender, we must obey the person whom we surrender our life. Obey God if you surrender yourself to God. Now after the surrendering, one more big decision you have to take. Whom you will serve. Last two episode we were discussing that whom should drive your life. You decided that God should drive you hereafter. But now the question, whom you have to serve. Here the Joshua says that we have to serve our Lord once if you surrender your life to God. And why we are unable to serve the Lord? Because we are so busy serving so many things. Most of my friends, when I mingle with them, when I deal with them, they are the people they serve money. From the childhood onwards, parents are teaching the children how to earn money. And once if you are grown up, your thought also how to earn money and how, how can I be rich and how can I enjoy. We are all the people not serving God but serving money. You know, two days before one man SMS me, sorry, WhatsApp me asking that, are you collecting any money for this London reflection program? I said, I did not do anything, even a single rupees for that. Instead, I am spending from, from my hard labor or earned money for these things, that I agree. Even when I preach the word of God, people want to know whether it is for money. So everywhere people are serving money. You know what Bible says? We must read Matthew chapter 6 verses 24. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despair the other. You cannot serve God and money. I didn't say, Jesus himself in the gospel, he says that you cannot serve God and money. So there are so many people, they appear in front of you saying that they serve God, but actually they serve money. You know, for them it is a, a business doing God's work also. So be careful, we should not be one among serving money hereafter. And some other people I have seen, those who surrender their life to God, they don't serve God, but they serve human beings. It's very dangerous thing we read in Acts 5.29. But Peter and the apostles answered, we must obey God rather than men. When we are meditating, London meditation, my dear friends, you also have to take a decision that you will serve God than men. You know, my parents, they want me to do something against God, which I did not agree. I will serve my God more than my parents. And you have to serve your God more than your parents, more than your brothers, more than your sisters, more than everyone, more than your spouse and children. Try to serve your God. And once if you serve your God like that, Acts 13, 22 says, David, the son of Jesse, a man after my heart, who will do all my will. God says that I found a man, David, who do all my will and he is after my heart. So all those who are listening to me through this London reflections, God must look at you and say that you are close to his heart and you are serving him and he loves you. That should be our decision and our desire today. Hebrew 13, 21 says like this, equip you with everything good that you may do his will working in us that which please which is pleasing in his sight through jesus christ to whom be glory forever and ever amen here the saint paul is praying for you and for me saying that may god equip us to do the things which will please our father and which will bring glory to the father through christ so let this prayer be uh, fulfilled in my life and in your life. Amen. Peace be with you.